Today, this is a video about news. Enjoy. So today, well, a few days ago, I posted a video called Is Bloodborne Gonna Be On The PC? Don't Let That Happen, Sony. You guys remember that video, right? For those who saw it. Um, so today, um, not today, but yesterday, there was an article that came out at PlayStationLifestyle.net talking about the fact that Bloodborne is still a PS4 exclusive with no plans for a PC version. Earlier this week, well, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my video, but I'll also um, do a, re uh, a layout of what happened before. So, earlier this week, Amazon France, which is France, Amazon, put up a listing of Bloodborne on Windows 7 or Windows 8 for the PC, causing many to speculate that Sony's latest PS4 exclusive would hit the PC Master Race for them. But however, clearing all the confusion was um, the Bloodborne product manager, his, his Twitter name is that kid Chris. That's his name on Twitter. That's not his actual name in real life. He, uh, he said he confirmed that there are no any plans to bring the game to other platforms. He said in a tweet, For those asking, Bloodborne is an exclusive to PS4, and there are no plans for a PC version. Those are actual words you look a tweet for that on Twitter. Um, his name is that kid Chris. So if you guys want to follow him or do something about that, you can do whatever you want. Um, there was also actually a change.org petition to get Bloodborne on the PC. Um, this was do say this is it, the um, petition I believe said that From Software betrayed PC gamers after reaching releasing the last two p games on the PC. Now the last two games was Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. Now before the news of Sony not having any plans to support the game over came out, the petition has already reached over 9,000 signatures, and I believe it's even passed more. I believe it's like around. Um, I believe a video talked about it happening like 25,000, maybe even more than that signature, so... Who knows? For all we know is that this signature, this petition is getting a lot of signatures. But they did say they are not, and they have no plans for a PC version at all. So, as not right now, but Bloodborne is still a PS4 exclusive. Which is a good thing, because an exclusive is an exclusive, and... I believe that uh, my video, my last video about talking about that was kind of not really precise with my, what I was really talking about. Actually, I was actually having a talk with someone when I posted that video on Facebook. I, um, well, because I posted on like media services to talk to people to share the videos. And I had a discussion with someone. We were talking about like exclusive, what's it mean to have an exclusive, and is it a good thing to have Bloodborne on PC? And we talked about how either it's right or wrong, actually. Like, is it right? Like, everyone wins in the end. Like, but the thing about the thing I told him was that the reason why I believe exclusives help a console is because it differentiates it from other games or from other consoles. Because without exclusive, it, we wouldn't. No one would really buy another console. I mean, what's the point? If there's no exclusives, then there's no reason to actually buy that console. It's like, for example, um, I'm just gonna pull like. Let's say Uncharted, the Uncharted series. Well, if Uncharted was on Xbox One and PS PC, who would, would it matter to buy PS4? No, because it's on everything. Not everything, but it's on the big console, the next generation consoles. So it's not really. There's no real reason to buy a PS4 anymore because it's all on everything. Which without that, that's that's just uh, thinking. It's like a like to, uh, hypothetical. It's not like really gonna happen. Uncharted 4, anymore, so don't worry about that. But the point about this. Is I feel like that this is a good exclusive, like the Bloodborne. I play, I'm playing it right now. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. I might be going off topic again, but I feel like this this exclusive should stay on the PS4. But I have a feeling in my gut, a, a really sharp pain in the gut, not a really sharp pain, but a, a tense feeling that this game is gonna go to the PC. I just have a feeling about it somehow. It might, it might not come right now, it might come like a year later, like something that they would do with other games, you know, um, uh, like later, like, you know, like in the middle of the 2014, at least, Rise of the Rome on the PC and all that stuff, but I just feel like, like this game should be exclusive, because this is a Sony title and all, and it's like Sony, if Sony paid for exclusive, they should have the right to do that exclusive precisely, so, call me whatever you want. But in my opinion, exclusives are necessary for gaming consoles to diverse. It also gives uh, companies competition to buy that console choice. So, go out, say whatever you want, but I feel like con the exclusives for consoles are a necessary evil that we need. It may not be something everyone loves, a lot of people may hate it. The guy I talked to when I posted the video, he didn't like um, exclusives, but you know what? 
I kind of gave my reasoning behind it, but personally, I think that exclusives are something that we need. It's a necessary evil, but some people are not going to like it, and I understand that. But it's something that we're going to have to deal with sooner or later. So, that's just something I just have to really point out and just really say overall. Overall, like, I do, I think that it may go on PC, maybe a year later, maybe two years, who knows. But I really don't, I, I really don't think that it will be on there. And I really don't think it should be on the PC. I mean, yes, more games on your console, like I said before, like my Batman Arkham Collection the video, I talked about there's more games in your collection of console or choice. It's a good thing, but sometimes exclusives deserve to be put on one console or that one choice because that's the point of uh, exclusive and buying with that one precise console, you know? I'm repeating myself over and over, but that's it, guys. Please like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Facebook as Michael Martinez. Follow me on Twitter as DMichaelM1997. And also, if you want to see more videos just like this, check out my channel, DMichaelM1997, guys. Alright guys, that's it. This is DMichaelM1997. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm signing off now. Have a good one.